just my thought of the week. Thought of the week. It'd be cool if we had a little noise to go in there. I used to do that actually. The thought of the week. The big guy's thought of the week. Ryback positivity. I don't know what to call it. I'm trying to come up with a gimmick for it. I, it changes all the time. It's my thought of the week, though. It's always positive. Uh, and it simply is from a quote, guys, uh, that I put out on social media that um, I put up with my supplements that I always do things with the Feed Me More Nutrition Hungry logo. But it, the simple thing is, is do more things that make you forget to check your phone. Do more things that make you forget to check your phone. I had to check my phone to read that. Guys, and again, and I think this goes in with everything talking with Shane. And we talk about it a lot every week because I really, I I honestly think it's so, so important. And I can't stress this enough with everything. And I see it, how it's affecting everybody here uh, going with everything going on. And how it's affected me at times on on having to just get away from it. That we, we have to, it's up to us to figure this out. Nobody's going to figure this out for us. And uh, we're, like I said, we're all guinea pigs with the technology. And um, that when we we have a lot going on in our lives and when we keep busy and we we can live in the present, live in the now, and do things that that make us forget about our phones, I think that's extremely valuable. And I I think it's so important. And I think, again, our phones are great and the technology is great. And it, it, so many cool things about it. But as we talked about with Shane, like there's a lot of negatives. And the negatives can outdo the positives really, really quickly and cause a lot of problems in people's lives. And, and I've talked about it with everything that's going on. And whether it's the social media apps trying to tell us we need to do these things to stay on their apps longer to make them more money, we have to be smart enough to realize and go, what value is this adding to my life? Now, it's different if you have a business and there's things you got to get done. And I've talked about this and me hiring people out eventually, but I had to do so much early on and I chose to. And then I saw how just negative it was and detrimental to my health, my mental health, where I was like, I don't want to be on this. I don't want to be exposed to this. And, And you see it with a lot of top successful people. They put out their content, but they just live their lives. They let other people capture it and then they put out their content. And then they, they go on it still and they get their fix, I'm sure, here and there. But like they're not on it what it would seem like they're on it. They got people doing that for them. And now, so it's a little different when you have a business on that. But for most people, you don't. So you have to be really just conscious of like, what are we, what are we doing? Do we need to be lost in the comments for hours, hours of the day? In finding ways to add value to our lives in real life. Because I tell you guys something, life is, was never broken. The real world was never broken. I oftentimes, I, I remember growing up without this stuff. And, and I, even the days and the days like I'm away from it the most. And on, like is when I'm just, it's crazy. The happiness levels just start going up on their own. But the more that you're on it, the happiness levels go down. And you don't, it, it's an odd thing. But like we talked about, it's addicting, and you, you got to get compulsive, and you got to be on it, you got to be on it, you got to be on it. So I think it's just trying to find things and enjoy things to remind ourselves how great life is without it. You know, and like, well, we'll ride back, how do we do that? Go for a hike. Don't bring your phone. But what if we get lost? Well... Okay, if you could bring your phone and not look at it the entire time, put it in a backpack, put it somewhere, shut it off, put it in in a backpack and keep a backpack on where you're not going to go to it. You're not allowed to. Well, what if I want to record? Fuck your recording. You're going up. This is for your mental health, damn it. No, you can go do it another time and record. The purpose of this is go do something hour or two where you don't have to look at your phone and you'll be amazed at how quickly you're okay with it once you get past that initial period. And that's how you start. And maybe it's not two hours. Maybe it's, it depends on the level. Maybe it's only 20 minutes. That's crazy to even talk about, but maybe that that's what it is. Maybe it's five minutes away from it. 
We, what if Ryback, we never, our phone never leaves our hand. We sleep with our phone in our hand. Take it out of your hands, put it in another room and walk away for five minutes. Do something. You got to start building up tolerance to being away from it and learning that it's okay away from it. Because otherwise it's just this never ending. And you hear just, and I see it in talking to different people. I think we're all going to have to deal with this. And I've dealt with this for in many different ways and, and continuously. And like I said, I'm turning over the social media and responsibilities more and more. And I'll never stop putting out content. I want to, I want to be very figured into things in the future. But I also understand the, the value of my mental health and my happiness. And we got to find ways to do things in real life. And everyone's going to have different things. Maybe it's you, you start playing the guitar. I'm not a music guy. I, I fucking hate the guitar. I don't get any enjoyment out of any of that. I like listening to music, but I'm not a guitar player. I'm not a musical guy. You know what I mean? Find ways, just things that, that appeal to you. You know, if you have a bike, go for a bike ride for 30 minutes or an hour. Don't look at the phone. I see people, kids skateboarding or riding. I literally have seen kids riding their bikes on their phones the whole time. You know, it's what people, it, it, it's just, it's, it, the technology is very addicting. And we have it, our phones have become part of us, part of everyday life. So do more things that, that can take you away from your phone. We're, the phones aren't going anywhere. We all are going to use them. They're part of life. But I think if we can do more things without them, it can, it can add that balance where the, the negatives don't outdo the positives. And you got to strengthen that part of your mind away from it. I really, I really believe that. And that's my thought of the week. Pow! All right, that stepbrothers there's stayed with me. That pow. Maybe I'm going to end. I'm going to end the thought of the week with pow every time. I think I'm keeping that. Yep, we are. Thank you guys very much for watching this clip and to watch full episodes of the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report and conversation with the big guy Ryback. Subscribe to Patreon.com backslash Ryback for exclusive videos of both shows. And always remember, feed me more.